Hello everyone, I am Sadat Musaddeq, lecturer of tourism and hospitality management, welcoming you all in this Cambrian digital class. I hope all you are doing great and ready for this class, aren't you? So let's start our today's class. Our today's class will be regarding food and beverage, service, practical. As you can see on the screen, the learning objectives. After completing this class, you will be able to understand how to take a reservation on the telephone. Then our next topic would be how to present the menu. Then we will be discussing professional grooming standards used in five-star hotels. So let's start our first topic, which is how to take reservations on the telephone. As you can see on the screen, the first step is answering the telephone. Let's have a look at the standards. The first standard is see that you answer the telephone in three rings. Then see that you greet the guest according to the time of the day, mention your name and the name of the restaurant. For example, as you can see on the screen, good morning, this is Peter in Pregos, how may I help you? Here, Pregos I took as an example for the name of a restaurant. Let's have a look at the second step. Listen to the guest and get necessary information from the guest. Let's have a look at the standards. See that the guest speaks first. Then see that you ask the guest politely for how many persons, what time and day they would like to come for dining. The next step is step three. Let's have a look on the screen. Check availability and the standards are. See that you check physically in your reservation system or book if there is an available table. Then step four, get the missing information. Let's have a look on the screen. Get the missing information and the standards are. See that you write in the reservation system or book the followings such as the name of the guest, contact number, time and the number of persons and if there are any comments or special requests mentioned. If you are not too sure with the spelling, always ask the guest to spell for you. The next step is step five. Let's have a look on the screen. Repeat details and ask if the guest is a member of loyalty program. Here, one thing to be explained that five-star hotels all over the world would like to have repeat business from the same guest. That's why they have launched loyalty program such as in Rotana hotels, they have launched Rotana Loyalty Club. On the other hand, in Grand Hyatt Dubai, they have launched Dine-In by Hyatt in Hyatt Hotels for Dubai. So now let's go through the standards. See that you physically repeat all the reservation details to the guest to check if it is accurate. Then see that to make the guest feel special, ask the guest if he or she is a member of loyalty program. Then see that you use the name of the guest minimum twice during the conversation. Our next step is step six. Let's have a look on the screen. Thank the guest and the standards are, see that you always thank the guest for the booking they made. Offer them additional services or assistance. For example, is there anything else I can do for you? By saying this, you can have the attention of the guest whether he or she would like to have some other assistance as well. Let's move on to our next step. The next step is step seven, ending up the conversation. And the standards are, see that you say, thank you for calling. We look forward to see you in Pregos. You may also add, have a nice evening or have a nice day or nice weekend. That concludes our first topic. 
let us move on to our next topic. Our next topic is as you can see on the screen how to present the menu. Let us go through it. First move on to step 1. Select a menu and the standards are make sure that the menu is in good condition, then clean or no strains, then not creased, then pages completed. Here one thing to be explained that you cannot present a menu which is incomplete or which is not cleaned or which is torn. These things to be remembered. Let us move on to the next step. Step 2. Approach the table and the standards are ladies first. Here one thing to be explained that in hospitality industry you always give the preference to the ladies. Then if there are no ladies on the table approach the oldest man or the host. Here one thing to be explained that senior citizens also should get the preference while giving the service. Step 3. Present the menu and the standards are stand behind the guest then present the menu open from the right side of the guest then go around the table until all guests do have a menu. Now let us move on to step 4. Announce specials and the standards are inform the guest about daily specials such as soup of the day or cocktail of the day and 86 items on the menu. Here one thing to be explained that in hospitality industry 86 item means non-available items or dishes for the day. The next step is step 5. Leave the table and the standards are slowly and quietly leave the table so the guest has time to absorb the menu and place his or her order. That concludes our second topic which is how to present the menu. Basically here we just discussed how to present the menu in a restaurant of a 5 star hotel. Let us move on to our last topic which is professional grooming standards used in 5 star hotels. As you can see on the screen, firstly I would like to discuss about general hygiene and the standards are shower daily or twice a day if necessary. Here one thing to be explained that sometimes you will be sweating during your shifts. So it is always advisable to take a bath before you start your shift and when you finish your shift and when you go back to home it is always advisable to have the bath. Then brush your teeth daily, do not forget your tongue. Your tongue is also very important here. Use a light deodorant and perfume. Here one thing to be explained that if you use strong perfume it may cause a disturbance to the others especially for the allergic guest. That is why you cannot use a strong deodorant or perfume in hospitality industry. Then after using bathroom wash your hands with soap. Let us move on to the uniform and the standards are ensure the uniform is clean and well pressed when you receive it from the linen room. Here one thing to be explained that all the employees of a 5 star hotel will receive their uniform from the linen room and again after finishing their duty they will drop it back to the linen room. Then I will discuss about the shoes and the standards are wear the shoes given or selected by your hotel usually black shoes. Here one thing to be explained that all 5 star hotels are providing shoes for the employees. Ensure the shoes are in good condition, well polished and no loose things are dangling around. One thing to be explained that you will have the shoe polisher just beside the employee room. So you do not need to worry about the shoe shiner or something like this. It is just a matter of habit in you to make your shoes polished before you go for the operation. Let us move on to our next slide 
which is regarding socks. And the standards are only wear black socks, no other color on it. Sometimes we may have the black socks, however, on top of it, there are some other colors as well. So it is advisable to remove all the colors, only use the black socks. Then hair and the standards are, hair should be kept in natural colors and wash daily, no wet look. Here, let me explain you one thing that you cannot make your hair color for the, you know, like reds or, you know, some other colors. It should always be the natural colors. For the wet look, I must tell you that you cannot put too much of gel to make it so glassy. So, you have to keep in your mind for that. Male staff should have a neat cut and not use too much of gel, as I just mentioned. Female staff here needs to be tied back with a uniform matching round net. Then, let's move on to the next slide, which is regarding jewelry. And the standards are, male staff is permitted to wear a single wedding ring, but nothing else. Then, female staff is permitted to wear a single wedding ring, small earrings, studs, nothing hanging and dangling. One simple necklace, but worn under the blouse. No other jewelry is permitted. As I just mentioned, that only the mentioned on the screen jewelries are allowed for the females. Let's move on to the next slide, which is regarding makeup and nail polish. And the standards are, male staff is permitted to wear makeup or nail polish at any time. Female staff should wear a light makeup, but not excessive or bright in colors. Nail polish is permitted in natural colors, no red, brown, or pink colors. So, only the natural colors are allowed for the nail polish for female staff. So, let's move on to our next topic, how to serve steeled or sparkling water. As you can see on the screen that the first step is select and check glass. And the standards are, see that you have a water goblet, which can also be said as water glass. See that you hold the glass at the base to avoid fingerprints or hygienic purpose. Here, one thing to be explained that to avoid fingertips, you must hold the water goblet from the base so that you don't put any fingerprints on the body of the glass. Then move on to the next standard. See glass is clean, no marks, no chips, no cracks or dry. Here one thing to be explained that if you have the wet water goblet and if you don't make it polish and when it becomes dry, you can see the spots on the glass. So you have to make the mise-en place, which is you have to polish the glass as soon as you have the glass from the stewarding area. Then the next step, step two, open the bottle of the water. See that you hold the bottle firmly. Then see that you twist the cap using your other hand. See that you keep the cap in your hand after removing it from the bottle. The next step is step three. Let's have a look on the screen. Pour the water in the glass. And the standards are, see that the label is faced to the guest. Here, one thing is very important, the level of the bottle. You have to face it to the guest always. Then, see that the bottle does not touch the glass. Then, see that you pour slowly, filling two-thirds of the glass. Here, one thing to be explained that you cannot make the glass 
full by pouring the water. It always have to be like two-third of the glass. Step four, close and leave the bottle. The standards are, see that the bottle is well closed, see that the bottle level is faced to the guest or to the table, see that the bottle is kept on the side of the table or along with the ice bucket or at the side station as per the outlet. Here one thing I must explain you that there are two types of waters as you saw on the screen. One is still water and another one is sparkling water. Still water is without gas. However, sparkling water is with gas. Sparkling water actually good for digestion, for your food. So, one thing I also must remember you, as you can see on the screen, that I have written a comment, which is, see that only Perrier is served with lemon slice. Here, Perrier is a brand of a sparkling water from France, and it has to be served along with a lemon slice. Also, for the other brands, for the sparkling water, also have to be served along with a lemon slice, which is very important. However, for the steel water, you don't have to present any lemon slice or something like that. But for the sparkling water, you always have to present slice of lemon. That concludes our today's class. Let's go through quickly for the recap of today's class. As you can see on the screen, recap of what you have learned from today's class. Firstly, how to take a reservation on the telephone. Then, how to present the menu. Professional grooming standards used in five-star hotels. Then, how to serve steeled or sparkling water. As you already know about our first topic, which was how to take reservation over telephone. As I explained you earlier that this one has to be implemented in a five-star hotel to take a reservation in a restaurant all over the world. Whenever you are presenting the menu, as I discussed earlier, you should always look for the cleanliness of the menu. As I mentioned earlier that you cannot provide any menu which is untidy, torn, or not in good condition. Then we discussed about professional grooming standards used in five-star hotels. Here I tried to explain you the way you will look before you work in a five-star hotel. Grooming is very important. This will show you the professionalism, the enthusiasm, and it is also very important to move ahead in your career. And finally, we also discussed about how to serve steeled or sparkling water in a restaurant of a five-star hotel. I hope you have enjoyed and learned so many things in hospitality industry. Hope to see you soon, shortly, with new hospitality management techniques and procedures. Until then, keep smiling and do take good care of yourself. Thank you.